What's up guys, it's your Average Gear Reviewer here. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and leave us a comment down below. It really helps us grow our channel. Let us know what you think about the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Um, okay, this one's rechargeable. Cool. Rechargeable by USB-C right there. And it already comes out of the box ready to run. Nice little... Oh, okay. Okay, that'll that'll jump out and scare you. Watch this. It's off. Oh, whoa! Okay. Cool. Definitely going to have to check that one out some more. Never seen one of those before. Let's open the open mini. Been waiting for this part. You guys just don't understand how bad I wanted one of these. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, that is neat. They're they're pretty small though, as you can see. Um, they've got fairly big hands, but this is yeah. Very neat. Um, fidgety. That's pretty cool. So if you're into fidgety stuff, you, you'll love that for sure. Okay. Last but not least, the PL3R Valkyrie 1500 Max Lumens. Um, with one of these, you don't, you'll, you may never have to use your firearm. You could just blind them for an hour or two and by the time they can see again you, you you're long gone okay let's open the sucker up slide to open oh yeah Ooh. it's a chonker wow yeah, that is a chunk of a light. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is probably not going to... Definitely not going to fit in that holster, so... I did not realize that was that big. This thing is huge. It's, it's, it's one of the bigger lights out of all of them. This is the arc filled next to it. I thought it was big. So, yeah. Can't wait to get to know this little bad boy a little more. I'm not sure about the operation. I know it's tail switch operated. Seems to be. Yeah, I'm going to have to read up on this and see if it's just temporary on. But the R's are uh, rechargeable. They do use the same uh, type of recharging port as this. One of the great things about Olight is they have a lot of these in common. Uh, common charging systems. So if you go with them, you can really go with like a system of lights. And I think that's kind of cool. I will say right now I'm not sponsored by Olight. I did, um, I bought all this stuff. None of this stuff was sent to me for free. Um, but I am a big enough fan of them that had a little bit of technical difficulties there. Sorry about that. Um, I was saying uh, I'm a huge fan of Olight. Uh, I have been, ever since I bought the first Gunlight, uh, I got an Olight Balder RL. Um, you 
see it's unloaded, but I'll put it on safe anyway. Um, the Balder RL, and it's a light and red dot, both. So super bright, super durable. Um, I just kind of fell in love with those. Mm. So you can see it's unloaded. Um, this is the Olight Balder um, S. Yeah. The blue light on it. I love that blue laser. That's so cool. But um, yeah, those made me fall in love with the O lights. And so I've always wanted to get their EDC flashlights, um, like the i5R, I've been dying to get a hold of one of these, so, yeah, super excited to check all this out, um, I said I would try to do a comparison, let's see, so there's low and high, On the i16, the i3 EOS, I mean they're 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 all pretty bright for their size. I have to say, this is the i3T. And low and the high setting. These are super tail clicky. I love them. I could get them going really fast. Oh yeah, same here. Low and high. Super clicky. I really like this one. Like I said, that the the black and blue is just just does it for me. I like it. The Arcfield's got some different settings, so um, like I said, it's got the green light, laser pointer, but then it also has a uh, white light, so you can barely see that probably. You hold it down, it actually will step up to brighter. Very, very bright on that highest setting. Really, really bright. Yeah, I'm digging this one. It just looks so cool. Except these are just done. Nobody's going to get that joke. Why? I... Okay, Boomer. I know. I can hear you. How about this? I bet you like that, don't you? The fidgety. You like the fidgety? Average gear reviews. Um, let me show you the dark side of unboxing that nobody shows you. Sweep all this to the side. Look at all this. Look at all that. You got it. So wasteful. So very wasteful. What are we doing, people? I wonder did it open this one. Okay, yeah, so... It clicks on there. switch operated now. Light up the trash. Can't really 
really tell a lot of difference in them. Okay, I'm gonna have to check this one out a little bit more. Probably gonna mount that one on the shoddy. What do you think? I like that. That's cool. Nice rail mounts. Ready to go. It's got a nice rail mount. If you haven't used any of Olight's, um, oh yeah, I could show you on these. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with Olight, they do have some of the coolest lockup systems on your gun, just the way that they attach to the gun. Flip switch, push it in to attach to your rail, and then lock it down. Once you get them set in place, they are set. You just flip your lever down and it's set. It's dead on. It's great. Easy to take on and off. Um, you can find holsters for them pretty easily now. And uh, they are they're really, really great lights. Super tough. You can look up some um, videos that people have done on them, uh, just to like torture tests on them, and uh, they really will take a beating. <clears throat> Again, I'm not, uh, and I wish I was. And if Olight is out there, and you guys are looking to sponsor somebody, or you want to send me some stuff? I'll be happy to do it. But I'm not sponsored um, by Olight or anybody. Obviously, this is my first video I've ever made. So, um, like, favorite, subscribe, hit the notification bell just in case I ever make another video. Uh, comment down below what you'd like to see me review. Um, if you have any thoughts on anything that I've shown today? Let me know. I'm going to, try to probably try to do uh, some follow-up reviews, just at least on this stuff. Because it's so cool. Like, I, I, I am really in love with this. But I'd need a little time with it, you know, just kind of check it out. But, yeah, super cool stuff. Olight 16th anniversary is going on right now. Like I said, go to Olight store, um, sign up for an account, and uh, they'll send you some free stuff every month. And uh, some good deals going on over there right now, too. They're also raising a lot of money for autism awareness. So, um, if that's a cause that you're interested in or wanting to support. I don't have an affiliate link or anything. I'll just put a link to the Olight store in the um, description of the video. If I can figure out how to do that. And, um, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe we'll see you in the next video. Average Gear Review out. Okay guys, so when I did the unboxing before, I actually didn't realize that this flashlight is not the same as this one. This is the i5R EOS. Um, it's a 350 lumen output. This one's the i5R EOS HCRI. Um, it's a 285 lumen output so uh we're gonna go ahead and open this one up again the olight package opening experience you gotta love it uh, it's a nice shade of blue looks really really nice This one is rechargeable, uh, just like the i5R. Gotta love it. Okay, so yeah. So all in all, with the unboxing, uh, we got the arc filled it's a thousand lumen output uh dual output so it also has a green laser on it we get the i5r eos it's a 350 lumen output 
the i5REOS HCRI, which is the 285 output. I think it's a slightly different light uh, that they use, maybe. Then we got the i3T EOS, 180 out lumen output, and the uh, i3E EOS. I, I don't remember what those are. They're so bright, though. Um, so yeah anyway uh thanks for watching i really appreciate you guys uh hanging out all the way through it and uh don't forget to uh you know like the video leave us a comment down below let me know what you think um do you like the arc field? is it something you're gonna put in your pocket or uh, are you more an i3 type of person you know maybe somewhere in the middle The um, i5R, i5, and uh, yeah, both the i5Rs are USB-C rechargeable. Forgot to mention that. The arc field is rechargeable uh, by the Elite's cool little system they've got. So anyway, thanks for hanging out. So I did say I was going to try to uh, give you an idea of the brightness of the different lights. So... Um, Gonna go dark here for just a minute, and uh, we'll start off with the arc field. I'm gonna show them on their lowest settings. So that's arc field. It's an i5R EOS. I5R EOS HCRI. See, I3. What the? Oh, okay, that was low. And we get the little I3E. Which, for its size, is really bright. Okay, let's try the arc field on its highest. Ooh, that's the turbo. That is so bright. How about it has the little indicator on there, too? And there we are, the bright I5R. Get the bright i5 r eos the hcri model let's see if we can okay so the hcri definitely is a cooler i don't know if you can see that on the video it's a cooler a cooler light So those are those are pretty close, I would say. And then the i3R on the bright setting is really, really pretty bright. Of course, this one only has the one setting, so. Just wanted to say thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and leave a comment down below. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Average underscore Gear or Twitter at Average Gear Review. Have a good one.